What's up, everybody? Welcome to TPI, the Total Podcast Idiot Show, where we cover everything and anything related to hardwood, your favorite game. I am idiot number one, Robert. That's idiot number two, Andrew, right there. Andrew, how are you doing on this beautiful 84 degree Sunday? Yeah, it's hot here in California, ain't it? It's, it's toasty. It's hot you know, like it's... the hot like the conference <laughs> championship races. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, yeah, but you know, it's not hot. My team. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I've just been lamenting uh, College of New Rochelle's loss today to a team in the demotion zone, Biola, who we've talked about a bunch. And, you know, all respect to them. They're a good program. You know, uh, I was just disappointed. Um, you know, it's a tough, tough battle for promotion. We've talked about that conference a bunch. We'll probably talk about it a little more uh, today. It's still, you know, it's still tight. It's not like Rochelle's out of it, but it definitely became a lot harder with yesterday's loss. Um, and then, you know, my other team, Dominican, we had a, a little bit of a close win. We had like a, we were down by like nine, I think after halftime at halftime. And then we came back at, with a 20 point advantage at, uh, in the second half. So, uh, uh, those, those needed, not that we like need the, the win, but it's nice. I saw yeah. that your game was close, but I didn't realize it was a 15 point deficit at half and a 20 point second half advantage. Oh, 15 points. Oh, geez. I, yeah, you were down 38 to 23 at half. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm glad to pull out the win over North Georgia. North Georgia, you know, another solid team. They're like fourth in our conference, which is not too shabby, you know. North um, Georgia is damn maybe, good. Maybe they're like fifth now. They're fifth. Yeah. yeah, they're fifth. <laughs> um, but, you know, yeah, they they play me tough, you know, and um, just happy to pull out that win. But what about you? What, what was going on with you? Well, their weighted skill index is 147.9 and yours is 148. So like they're solid, they're solid bunch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we had dev today, didn't we? <laughs> we we did have dev today, yes. Um, Forgot which was that. pretty crappy on all fronts for me. But that's okay. Um, yeah, I mean Santa Clara's on a 14 game winning streak. So that's Ooh. nice. So it up that number two seed in V3, right? Yeah, yeah. And we play tomorrow, of course. Yeah, we do. You and me, you versus me. Unfortunately, the there's not much. It's not. It's not worth that much, you know. It's not worth anything. Yeah, I mean, because two you games difference between us. You have locked up the conference. I've locked up the two seed because there's three games between me and the in the number three team, Slippery Rock. Mm-hmm. And so, really, it's it's just about like, I don't know, tournament seeding, if that. Like, how much is one loss yeah. against against teams? You know, our high like as high up as we are in rpi and stuff gonna affect it not a whole lot yeah yeah exactly and like this i think it's at your place right it's, it's my, at my place your yeah. yeah yeah so it's like you know obviously each of us still want to win but like if you lose to me you're losing to the number two team overall on d2 that's not i don't know doesn't seem like a bad loss no yeah i think i think if anything i have something to gain and you just don't have anything to gain or anything to lose really like you're probably gonna hold steady no matter what the result is tomorrow so that's pretty nice yeah i mean it might help me close the gap on san diego who's you know number one in d2 in rpi and the number one overall seed projected in the tournament but and then you know and then that gap can further close and potentially flip with a, a tournament conference tournament run but yeah overall like probably like just tomorrow specifically probably not that great uh big of a deal on the grand scheme of things so i don't know we'll see we've we've talked about it like we're pretty open with each other on our strategies like i mean not completely but like you know i think we both want to just be healthy going into the national tournament you know yeah i think like in previous years you know when maybe yours sort of lower down on the rung when it comes to the tournament or stuff, you view the conference tournament as a chance to string together some wins, improve your seating, or make sure that you're solidified in your seating. I mean, Oswego mm-hmm. last year wasn't going to make the tournament until they won the conference, the conference <laughs> tourney. So uh, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Um, but like this year, we're both cruising and I think we're both pretty much locks for the tournament. And, you know, there's not, you don't really, you don't get prestige for winning the conference tournament or anything like that. You don't really get much. Um, I think we're both pretty lax for here until the national tourney. Yeah. I mean, I guess we don't want to necessarily like lose to Maryland and Holy names in the conference tournament. I would be honored to Um, lose to Maryland. (laughs) Which by the way, Maryland's not last in our conference. I mean, that's huge news. They won 
they a couple of days ago they beat Wingate up here, so they're actually tied for 14th. Um, oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So that's hey, look at look at Cop Daddy over. They they didn't just beat Wingate; they whooped their ass. <laughs> was it yeah 24 point 23 point win or something yeah it was a 24 point win they won 77 to 53 so nice, nice. congratulations to maryland and cough daddy for getting out kind of of the bottom <laughs> you're only 24 games back in the conference now <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately they lost in double overtime to alabama a m today though that was uh they were close they were so close they would have moved up to the number like the actual 14th yeah, See, yeah yeah which i don't want i'd rather play maryland in the first round of the conference tourney so just stay right there at 15 we're good true right i mean not that wingate is that good either. yeah I, I, <laughs> no i just yeah just for the content true <laughs> all right um so that's enough about our teams uh what do we got going on is it, is it enough about our teams okay do what else do you have to talk about with your teams oh, that's it but oh, i could okay. talk more about i mean i just want to i mean as we go one promotion or secure promotion so that's nice nice yeah, nice n- nothing else important about our teams <laughs> i mean so but that's interesting like all all four of our teams i don't know how to put that each of our teams is gonna are gonna promote right yeah so both my teams well i mean didn't you say rochelle's kind of a an iffy no i i gotta believe i gotta believe all right, okay okay <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm just so nervous. Actually, I like I'm super nervous. So, if it's um, not if it's not yeah. obvious to like the podcast family out there, by the way, like I was the manager of Texas A&M Kingsville or the president of Texas A&M Kingsville, but I have not logged in since March fifth, twenty twenty one. I will be letting that team go. Hmm. So, if you have any um, ideas of grandeur for building the biggest lineup in in D two next year, please take them over. But they survived. In a year where I expected them to probably finish one of the worst three teams, they are the eighth ranked team in that conference. Currently sitting at 14 and 15 overall in conference. So. The Avelinas, they, they had a good culture started by, by Ben Latham, uh, you know, and Matthew McGrath there and um, just it's continued a bit. But if we sort by TPI and then look at Kingsville, they are 223rd in TPI with out of 256 with a TPI of 121.7. So no, I did not believe they had a chance to survive, much less finish in the top half of the table. So listen, 223rd, you only need six below you. Okay, that's it. Sometimes it just that's just to, the way the dice shake. It just has to be the right six. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the six that are in my conference. <laughs> but shall say. Shouts, shouts to them. Yeah. Um, actually, did you see my one of my old teams, oh. Michigan Tech? They were they were ranked for a little bit. Oh, they they were ranked. Yeah, they were ranked like top twenty five ranked. No oh, shit. Yeah, they're getting they're like they're receiving three votes currently. Seed. Yeah. Ah, oh, you hate to see it. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Andrew? <laughs> um, you know, I'm just I'm just happy they're they're. <laughs> I'm crying inside. They have such a dedicated president in Delta 91. I mean, how else can we you know, explain their success? No, but for real, like he's, <laughs> they, they've been they've been pretty active and, you know, they made a little PR. So, you know, hopefully they do take that team and get their own and have success. Except they are on a two game losing streak and we cannot accept that. All right, but enough about those Michigan Tech Huskies. What, 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 are, what are we going to talk about today, Andrew? What are we going to talk about? You know, it's the Sunday before the tournament generates. I think it, they're, the tournament's going to generate on Friday, um, on April 2nd, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, this is our, I guess, best chance to look at the, the field of the tournaments, look at the conferences. Actually, you know, we got to look at conference races uh, because tomorrow's the last game of conference regular season. And so, you know, it's as good of a chance to talk about those, right? All will be decided by this time tomorrow in conference yeah, so land across hardwood. We'll do a little bit of both. 
Yeah, all will be decided. I mean, if it's not already decided by today, obviously. Yeah, yeah exactly. Let's see if there's any a spicy races out there, been. though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of conferences have already been um, decided. So, eh, you know, not as exciting. They have, but hopefully we find some exciting ones. All right. Um, so where should we start? Where do you want to start? Start with D1, like we always do. Okay. All right. Do you do like you want to start with the conference? You mean? Let's just take a peek at the tournament field, see if there's anything interesting, and then we can just jump into the conferences and sort of look at the winners and the racers, the racers. <laughs> All right. Um. So here's the tournament field. All right. I'll zoom in a little bit because I think that like has a better view. Um. First off, you'll notice LSU up here. Now they got a one in that right hand column. Oh, so they are no longer undefeated. Very unfortunate to see. Um, I was hoping that yeah. they would pull off the 40 and 0. I think you were too. Yeah. Um, yeah. But most interesting is is who that one came to. I know, yeah. Yeah. Let's uh go to that well, that let's go to their schedule first. And so y'all see, it was a couple of days ago to Elizabeth City State, right? On the road. On the road. And now, where does Elizabeth lost. City State? Where does Elizabeth, Elizabeth City State sit in the conference? You see, they ain't in the top 14 <laughs> on this page. No, they're 15th. They're 15th in the conference. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Now, I mean, listen, hardwood is crazy. You, you can lose to anyone at any time. Like, no, I'm, we're not trying to like disrespect LSU here. They had a, they've had a great season. They still are, you know, you just lose to anybody, but I don't know. Fifth, I'd be pretty frustrated if I lost to the 15th place team. Yeah. Yeah. To say the least. And of course, any given day, any team can win. And like in these conferences, like if you look at their TPI or the, yeah, the weighted skill index differences between these right. two teams, it's like yeah. what less than 10. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like Elizabeth City State is, you know, one of these teams that has you no know, scholarship players or, you know, starts a bunch of dudes who are under 100 SI, you know, like they're a good team. Um, so, you know, it's just they just have had maybe a bad season or an unlucky season. And LSU's had a really lucky season, perhaps, or something. I don't know. Um, and it just decided to shift today or something or I mean, that day. With some games, a single matchup can can alter the dynamic of the entire 40 minutes, right? And so here mm -hmm. we see, you know, I, what's that guy's first name? No, he got player of the game. So. I guess Melvin. No, Matthew. Matthew. One key. Yeah, so Matthew knows really good, right? He won player of the game in the game. He had a big game. And then if I remember correctly, when I was looking at the box score just a second ago, he fouled out the uh, he fouled out LSU center in 16 minutes. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 So he fouled out LSU yeah, center in 16 so... minutes, and then Blanchard, his backup center, plays 15 minutes and goes minus 20. Ooh. Mm hmm. And not even all of it was at center. I mean, Weissman had to come in a bunch. Yeah. Uh, and play. Which he actually went plus 10. So plus 10. Wow. Yeah. Maybe that was the move. Yeah. I mean, it's tough to say. Like. I, I don't know these players that well, um, LSU's players, but like, you know, let's, I mean, we can take a look, I guess, you know, if, if all of those three centers, Weissman, Padilla and Blanchard are all kind of close, which they actually are. I didn't realize that. Um, it's kind of like, you never know who is going to be the one that has like the, the best effect in the game. Like, you know, some someone may be hot someone may be cold or you know their weight their wingspan might affect another the other op opposing player a lot more than expected you know there's all these crazy factors or Wiseman might have a five in interior defense and was not supposed to see the floor that much even though he performed right, well <laughs> no, so i'm saying i'm saying like yeah he he theoretically shouldn't have but then why did he have the plus 10 and, and right. the others had minus 20s, you know? So it's not like Ellis, you can look at that single result and be like, oh, I should have played Wiseman. Because like, maybe if he did start against no, he would have gotten annihilated even worse. For sure. Yeah, for sure. It's just interesting how it all plays out. It's, it's you know, one of those yeah. just random things that sometimes matchups don't go your way. And on that particular day, yeah. Elizabeth City State or whatever had a center who drew nine fouls. 
So it was his day to shine. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, LSU today, they signed their third four plus star here, Connor Farmer, they signed today. So I don't know. They've had a really, really good class. And they have a, they signed a 7 2 guy, apparently. Jeez. Yeah. Isn't that the guy you said was the tallest you've ever seen as a recruit in the game? Or is that someone yeah, else? Yeah, that's the tallest. No, I think I think it's him. Yeah. yeah. I think he's the tallest player I've ever seen um, as a recruit in the game. And I think maybe overall, but... Um, I don't think I've ever seen yeah. anybody taller than 7'2", that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've definitely seen like 7'1s. Yeah. 7'1 and a half. I've seen 7'1 and a half, yeah. but I've, I don't think I've ever seen 7'2". Yeah, yeah. Huh. So, I mean, heck of a recruiting class for LSU. So... Um, yeah, and I think they're still on one more person, in fact. Yeah, Scott Gregory. Well, yeah, kind of Scott Gregory. Oh, from Long Beach, California. Coming into our backyard. <laughs> Hello. That's funny. That's fine. They can take him. I, I don't care. Uh, he doesn't seem that good. Well, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, rest of the tournament, though. So, I mean, you know, Louisville, we've talked about Louisville bunch being up at the top still on that one line um west virginia is ranked number one now they've had a really good season i mean remember i talked about them as like a team to watch because they had that tpi and you know even though their rpi at the time wasn't that strong and i don't know where the rpi is right now but like you know they're kind of pulling off the what azusa pacific did last year they're number three in rpi now yeah i mean great spot Great spot for you to, to find that column out because, I mean, they've just shown you to be a clairvoyant. Well, you know, I just pick <laughs> a lot of people and eventually one of them hit, you know, that's all. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, Louisville is number five in RPI now. Um, Ursinus, you know, that Legends team, they're number four in the rankings on that top line. Um, 16th, though. Are they first okay. in Legends? I want to say no. The third. No. Okay. Roche- Rochester's, and you know, they were leading last time we talked about legends, right? Yeah. But look at that. Look at, Which I guess it was last week. Look at Ursinus's RPI versus Rochester and UCLA. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. A lot, lot more. Mm-hmm. That's why they're a one seed there. Yeah. That makes sense. Which, you know, it's interesting because we, we talked about Mississippi a bunch. Mississippi was number two in the conference and they have the second best RPI, but they were, you know, on that one line over here instead. But now they're all the four way seed. as a four seed. So, I mean, I obviously they've lost a few games recently um, that have dropped them. But it's, you know, it's it's still strange to see Mississippi so far down relatively to what they, we've been used to for them. Right. Yeah, definitely agree. Yeah. Yeah. What else do we notice here in D1? I mean, you know, Michigan Tech, we've talked, we just talked about a bit. They're the highest non-ranked team. St. Mary's, we've talked about, we thought they should have been ranked last week. Mm -hmm. Um, And they've had like kind of an up and down week, certainly. Um, But I think they're like number, I think they're second in their conference. So they're definitely getting that respect like overall. Um, I think a lot of teams that are in the tournament feel it, it like holds chalk. It's, it's a lot of what we've seen already. Like there's, hasn't been a lot of, a lot of change. I don't feel like, but I mean, was yeah, Vanderbilt, like was Vanderbilt always this high with 14 losses? I think I, I, I thought, I don't know about this high, but I, I, they've been well within the picture, I think. Yeah. Okay. I, I, Cause I remember talking about them recently too, as like having a, a high number of losses but being in LL2, um, you know, kind of surprising us, I think, right? At the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do we notice down here on the bubble? Shell teams. Yeah, what do we notice? <laughs> my poor New Rochelle team. <laughs> well, my conference leader, North Dakota, way up here. Oh, man. That's wow. Awesome. Yeah. I so- could be that. I could, that could be me. Rochelle needs a conference tourney run. Um, well, I don't know. Like we can, we can, I can go to that conference and talk about, um, kind of how, how I think that should break down. I totally did not go the right route. You did not at all. You should have just searched. 
it's not too late just to search. No, I'm there. There you go. So, um, you know, I'm, we, honestly, this conference is not that interesting, like in the grand scheme of things, because like it is a one bid conference in all likelihood. Um, but I want that bid to be me. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe that your Rochelle team's eight eleven on eight and eleven on the road. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> wow, eighteen and two at home and eight and eleven on the road. Okay, that's a pretty interesting split. I don't, yeah, I don't know what the president is doing over there. Telling what 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 is that um what is that conference wise your split? Um yeah, let's see. We just learned this trick six and eight and six and eight, but a fourteen, 14 and one at home. One. And you play on the road tomorrow, right? You know, and obviously this is involving my team. So I've gone through every scenario in my head on, you know, promotion and winning the league title, all these scenarios. And so basically North Dakota's they've, they've uh, clinched promotion, but they may not win the title. You know, m- me and Moorhead, we play each other. So one of us is going to promote the other will have to rely on Arizona and Greensboro losing in order to stay in promotion um but greensboro plays north dakota so like greensboro could move up north dakota could move down i don't know it's gone all over the place so um yeah that's that who, race who does arizona play oh biola they, i can see it they play the team that beat me today biola <laughs> yeah well let's hope biola's on a little bit of a hot streak then i guess yeah yeah exactly now i'm hoping biola wins it's such a oh, they're, they're on a three-game winning streak yeah, but they lost their backup shooting guard or point guard, I think, against me. Although Arizona is missing two bench players uh, for tomorrow. So they're missing Mason Jacobs and Russell Harris. Oh, interesting. But it's just two, bench, just two bench guys. So, I mean, that's important. But, you know, it'd be nicer if they were missing two starters. <laughs> <laughs> Russell Harris is Russell with one S. I almost Is want to call it, it like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like Russell. 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 <laughs> yeah, he's Australian. He, this guy has a lot of Australians on his team. Three Australians. Interesting. All right. Um, what other? What else from this conference? I mean, or from the tournament. I mean, um, Washburn is ranked and sitting on out. I think we've talked about that a couple of times oh, now. Wow. They've been pretty consistently yeah, ranked, and about yeah. That. Um, Utah State, you know, Final Four team last season, they're out of the picture right now, which is interesting. Although, mm-hmm. I mean, Azusa Pacific, not defending national champion, I think they're in danger of demoting, right? They're in likelihood of demoting. And we'll talk about that when we get Oof. to that conference, but um, okay. they, it would, yeah. they, they need a miracle. They need a miracle. Yeah, yeah. I think that is this conference, 2.1. Yeah, so let's, nope. let's talk about it now. I mean, it they're against you. It's directly against Utah State too. Is is the competition? Um, nope. Yeah. So, I mean, this this point differential being eighty eight. You know, it's it's tough. Azusa Pacific has to play against Arizona State. You know, luckily they're one of the other teams that's demoting. Utah State is going to have to go against number one West Virginia though. So. You know, and it's it's at West Virginia, Azusa Pacific, Pacific is at home. It's kind of like if it's going to happen, it's all lined up perfectly. Sorry, if I, I mean like it's all lined up perfectly for it to happen. Um, like it's it's all the best one can hope for if you're Basoy. You know, these these are the circumstances with which a miracle could happen. Is what you're trying to say? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'd call this a miracle. I, I think it's, but so I said like 5% chance. And yeah, maybe, maybe that's a good number. I think that's more than a miracle. <laughs> I for, uh, more like higher likelihood, like higher likelihood. Than yeah, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Yeah. But it's certainly stacked, so it's miracle, sorry. certainly stacked, <laughs> stacked against him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, in the West Virginia is going to win the title. Louisville is going to promote, but Lincoln may not have promotion sewn up. Completely. I mean, Vanderbilt has the point differential advantage. Um, they're going to go to San Jose State, who's a mid-table team. Lincoln has to play. Oh, Columbia, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> Columbia has struggled this year. So, I, I mean, it, it's still not, you know, 
anybody, especially in 2.1, anybody can lose anyone on any day. Mm -hmm. um, especially because Lincoln is going to Columbia. But, you know, you think it's, it's not quite as likely at this point. Um, but, you know, you can always hope, always have hope. Columbia has five conference wins on the season. So it's not like they're, I mean, five and 24 is not great. Don't get me wrong, but they won five games. They beat Cal State East Bay. Okay, that's not proving my argument. Um, they beat Cal State Monterey Bay. Okay, still not proving my argument. I'm just looking at their five wins. They beat Yale. Okay, they beat Yale. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, Cal State Monterey Bay again. <laughs> And Azusa Pacific <laughs> to start the conference <laughs> season. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it, it could just be, who knows? Who knows though? Um, so that's 2.1. Let's look at, take a quick look at 2.2. And this is a tight race for at least the division title or the conference title. I would say divisions. I think these are divisions, but no. Um, Lehigh and Tennessee, ooh, tied up tied up there lehigh is going to take on texas el paso utap at home utap ain't, ain't having a hot season tennessee has to go to southern indiana in tarleton who's having a really good season gets houston at home Ooh, a texas battle though mm. yeah i mean tarleton's pretty much out of it with that point differential difference that's that's true. Yeah. Good eye. Good eye. Yeah. 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 So I think it's going to come um, down to Lehigh and Tennessee and that point differential difference is not enough that you can say that one's over. Right. Right. Well, yeah, that's true. And because, yeah, if they both win or both lose, it still comes down to point differential. Um, yeah. So um, that's all be interesting to see. I but mean, I mean, Lehigh definitely has the advantage for sure. Even if they both win tomorrow mm -hmm. and let's say like, let's say Lehigh pulls out like a two point win or something. Mm -hmm. It's not all that imp impossible that Tennessee could pull out like a 57 point W. I mean, it happens. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, both Southern Indiana and UTEP are demoting teams. So, you know, yeah, it could definitely happen. It's just like UTEP is worse and is playing at Lehigh versus Southern Indiana being better in at home against Tennessee. Again, you think if I'm Lehigh, it's, it's kind of working out in my favor pretty much exactly how I yeah. want it to. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'm sure Lehigh is not all that stressed about winning the conference tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. But maybe they are. Maybe they're like me and just going crazy about everything. You go crazy over things you don't need to go crazy for. That's it's just right. who you are. That's right. <laughs> oh, Will, Will Clevenger, how did you miss three shots on the day? You have to be more efficient. Has Will Clevenger ever missed three shots? Yeah, he's gone like six and 16. No, I meant like exactly three shots. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make fun of me for that, I'm going to be specific. <laughs> um, all right. What do we, what else do we got? I mean, you know, we just, we just talked about like Utah state, they're out, but like still technically kind of within the picture. So like they, they need a big conference run, but they're 10th in that conference. Yeah. Well, that's pretty wild. That's crazy. That's pretty uh, wild. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that's, I don't know how that works, I guess, but okay. Okay. Seth Davis of Hardwood or. Do, do, uh, do, do your thing where you search like the, the conference so we can see how many teams are on this page. Okay. Uh, you mean the control F? Yes. Control F. Yes. Okay. So they only have four teams in. Yeah. Three yeah. teams on the bubble and then three teams out. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of respect yeah that's what that's all 10 right there uh-huh maybe a demoting team is actually in here i don't know <laughs> that'd be funny all right um what else do we got i mean i think i think uh we talked about 4.2 before being pretty interesting so let's well let's just scroll through the conferences okay yeah let's just scroll through them like in order okay. and then announce so the are, winners and stuff real quick. did the top three okay yeah all right, so Iona, Florida Gulf Coast with Stony Brook. I don't know, does Stony Brook have a shot here? It started. I would be more worried if I'm Stony Brook about USC, USC than I would mm -hmm. be about trying to win the conference. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this is weird because like Florida Gulf Coast could drop down to three, but they can't drop down to four. Stony Brook could move up to two, but also drop down to four. USC could obviously be three or four. Iona could be one or two, right? I yeah, think that's how yeah. it breaks down. Yeah. 
and it sucks for Iona because they've been so much more dominant than Florida Gulf Coast. But mm-hmm. but if they lose tomorrow, even if it's only by two points, they're not going to win the conference. Well, luckily they play seven and twenty-two Black Hill State. There you go. That is that is nice. Florida Gulf Coast plays Temple, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. who is uh, eight and twenty-one. So okay. <laughs> Um, so, SC SC is going to play Francis Marion though, so yeah, not the easiest matchup certainly. And Stony Brook plays Rhode Island, who is you know right here, right at that demotion line. I think demotion is really interesting. Race, really. holy moly! Yeah, yeah, that's true. If anything, super interesting. Technically, you could even count Francis Marion and Oklahoma State in there. Ah, Francis Marion probably safe. Yeah, France, I think with that point differential, probably. Although. Yeah. Although, just thinking about that, Oklahoma State might be in the most danger out of these groups. Yeah, if they, yeah. If they, yeah, if they lose tomorrow, which we just said they play, but oh, they play at Coker. They play, they play at Coker, but that's not an easy matchup. Oh, not at all. So if they lose tomorrow and the teams around them win, they're kind of effed. Yeah, yeah, they might drop to devotion. To Twelve. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's not likely that all those teams around them are going to win, but it's entirely possible that they could fall to eleventh. Yeah. Well, let's see. Um. Rhode Island Pueblo. have to has to pull off an upset beating Stony Brook, so I guess that's unlikely to say the least, but entirely still mm-hmm. possible. Yeah, yeah, but like all of these, like UNLV plays Alabama, so like UNLV is favored. Yeah. Um, Rhode Island, like you said, probably not favored, but it's you know it's it's not it's it's still a toss up kind of eh, not a toss up, but like it's still not out of the realm of possibility uh csu pueblo plays bentley so that's gonna be tough for pueblo uh nyu goes to shamanad though like shamanad's not having a good season at all so like we if we think nyu and unlv they can move up that means potentially rhode island and pueblo or oklahoma state drop down yeah i'm gonna have to check this tomorrow and see if oklahoma state survives yeah yeah Interesting. And Oklahoma State just got a new president. Uh, so did Rhode Island. They put out some, Rhode Island just put out some new PRs. So I don't know. No, oh, he's active. Good. Good. That's what we care Stay about the most. Active. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Rhode Island inducted 23 players into their Hall of Fame today. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, they just put out another PR today, too. They put out three PRs today. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Hall of Fame induction. <laughs> Let's congratulate them for being our first 23 inductees to the University of Island, Rhode Island's Rams basketball program. That's not a <laughs> class. That's just your entire program. <laughs> it's not a very selective Hall of Fame. I, I thought there was a limit to how many you could put in your Hall of Fame first off. Wait, why? The, the second guy that was on that list, they were only averaged like six points a game. Yeah, I'm looking at this. None of these guys like averaged more than 10 points a game. Like this Andy Bivens guy, 6.3 points per game in 19 minutes on it, average. Brent, Brandon Krieger had a skill index of 105. What is going on? Is that current or like, is that just, is that like what he's at now because he's old? Yeah, okay. He was well, uh, still not that good though. But still not good. Like, yeah. I, th- I think someone has a a mis uh, a misunderstanding of what like a Hall of Fame means. I don't know. <laughs> one point four points a game. One point in nine. He only got nine minutes a game. <laughs> what is going on? He got Twelve assists a game. <laughs> Wouldn't it say something? I don't know. Like, this guy's the first, like, legit player who, like, maybe would be deserving. Yeah, I mean, he's at least got an argument. The other ones are just like, what are you doing? Yeah. That guy's got an SI-179. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Well, okay, I so, guess. Uh, <laughs> some schools can I mean, have hey, selective do... and some schools don't. Yeah, I mean, do, do what you want. I get it. But, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about it <laughs> if I see this. Too. Yeah, that's wild. 23 in the same day is a lot. <laughs> Santa Clara has one. All right. Yeah, uh, my team's combined have one. Yeah, there you go. 
Okay, interesting. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know who else have we. Oh yeah, you wanted to go through every conference, and I just deleted it. Oops. <laughs> two point two. All right. Yeah, let's Here just quickly go. scroll through them, and then you know, just highlight the winners and stuff like that. So that's so that's three point one. 3.2. Loyola's got it locked up. The The promotion race is the interesting thing. And I mean, NAF has talked about this on the Discord a bunch, right? Yeah. Um, it's it's as close as it gets, really. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, I mean, St. Mary's is favored. So two out of these three teams will promote. One won't. It's as uh, simple as it gets, I guess. I mean, what are St. Mary's the is going to go to matchups tomorrow. Samir's is going to go against, oh God, we haven't had to say it in so Gen long. Gen CEO. Gen, Gen CEO. Okay. Gen CEO, Jean yes. So. Jean, Jean so. Gen CEO. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying it wrong on purpose. Um, yeah, so they're going to go to SUNY there. Um, let's see. Uh, Eastern EIU hosts Loyola, Chicago. The, oh, Illinois matchup. That's going to be a good one. There we go. Yeah. Um, and then Florida AM fam is gonna go to, or host New Hampshire. Okay. So I mean, obviously Eastern Illinois has the toughest matchup and you know, eleven point goal different point differential. NAFSA's goal differential, so that's why I was on, <laughs> on there. uh point differential is uh because he's Australian, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um that's nothing though. Eleven points is nothing, you know. So it's gonna to be tough. It's gonna to be tough for Eastern Illinois to hold on to that, you know. By the way, I think somebody had mentioned in the forum uh, an alternative to using point differentials to decider for the tiebreaker. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was like uh, I forget what it exactly point. was, but it was a pretty good like. Suggestion. It's like proportion proportion of points um like propor yeah it's like a proportion it's just like dividing instead of subtracting basically mm. interesting yeah which i would prefer because i don't play these you know i don't play these fast tempos where i rack up you know super high point advantages i know it's, it seems like i do because i win by 63 sometimes against holy names but <laughs> But not usually. It's not my style. Yeah, but the, um, the idea is that, like, with having point differential be the arbiter of, of tiebreakers for both promotion and relegation, you're favoring the teams that are playing fast court, fast paced offenses, right? Up tempo, yeah, more yeah. possessions per game, scoring, even though that may not be the most efficient way to run a program or to, you know, be successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Demotion wise here, I mean, it's between Marquette and Cal State LA. I mean, maybe New Hampshire has a shot. No, not even close. No, because they, they would, Marquette would beat them, right? Yeah. So if Marquette loses and Cal State LA wins, then they, they swap spots. But if Marquette wins, they yeah. survive. Yeah. But there's no way New Hampshire can capture Marquette. Are you, is that what we're saying? They'd have to win by like I mean, 160. And Marquette would have to lose by 50. Hey, I've seen some crazy things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. <laughs> All right, um, so that's that's what, 3.2? Yeah, moving on. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I guess Ohio, congrats. Ohio's had a great year, although they've lost three recently because last week they only had one loss, right? Yep. Yep. So they lost three in one week, which is not great. It's not the best, but you want to get your clunkers out of the way before you get to the national tournament. True, true. That's that's what you got to tell your teams. You're right. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oregon State's got, you know, the two seed locked up. They can't move either direction. But Indiana State and Webster here are the is the matchup. Although, well, it's tied, so it doesn't really matter. Um, What's the matchup? What's the Indiana matchup? State Webster has to go to Arkansas Oregon Montage State. Oh, oh. So is That's Oregon State going to? Are the Beavers? Are the Beavers going to do? Uh, what is Indiana State's mascot? Isn't this where Larry Bird went? The Sycamores. Sycamores. Yeah. Yeah. Are the Beavers going to do? <laughs> That's funny. It's a tree versus the Beavers. <laughs> <laughs> 
are the, are the beavers going to do uh, the sycamores a solid and, and throw the game or are they going to cut and try to cut them down with their teeth? Do you know, build the dam? Do you know who you're talking about? The Oregon state beavers throwing a game. Are you aware, sir, that the Oregon state beavers men's basketball program is in the elite eight in real life? Yeah, I know that they take no prisoners. They are not going to throw Indiana state any kind of solid. When have you ever known a beaver to be nice? <laughs> Um, I'm sure I read some books where the be- the main character was a beaver and they were nice. We don't even anthropomorphize beavers. Like some children's books, you know. You know? We make, we make, <laughs> we make, we make bears out to be like gentle, kind teddy bears and stuff. And they're like vicious predators. Mm-hmm. We don't even anthropomorphize beavers. Maybe it's because they're not acute or something, but like. Beavers are great. I love beavers. There's no Bob the Beaver show or anything like that. <laughs> I, I love mean, beavers one- too, but yeah yeah okay um i mean yeah if they both win then it's indiana state or if they both lose i guess it's still indiana state probably um probably yeah it's just webster has to win indiana state controls their destiny yeah it's as simple as that i think uh demotion damon versus georgian court boise state's probably out of this is similar situation to new hampshire in Marquette and Cal State LA, right? Yep. 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 So I don't know. Georgia Court though could could do it. Yeah, let's look at their matchups. They play Augustana, who is Augustana College. Don't want to get them mixed up with Augustana. There's Augustana <laughs> College and Augustana. And then there's Augusta and <laughs> who else knows? <laughs> and then Damon has uh, to play Slappy Pappy in Salisbury. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So I mean, all, it's all these four teams right here, right? Is that what you're yep. saying? Yep, that's what mm. I'm saying. Could be tough, could be tough. I don't know. Okay, let's scroll on. Know. We have a lot of conferences okay. left to cover. I was going to say, I, I want Damon to lose because they're on one of my recruits with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Texas A&M, congrats. Is Juan Yukofin has clinched the conference. Um, promotion is similar to L. 3.2 with St. Mary's, right? Although this is a much bigger point differential gap. Gaps. Yeah, um, but it, it because they're all sitting on two games back, they're all tied. Um, pretty much like whichever mm-hmm. two out of the three win are going to promote. And if all three right. win, yeah. then it stays the same. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, Pacific, Pacific Coast Ball State, who is 12th. Um, Iowa is going to Xavier, who's ninth. And Wake Forest plays at Wesley, who is last. So Wake Forest probably pretty safe, you'd think. Yeah, I'd say. Whichever one of those teams loses, though, they're probably going home. Probably not. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And I know Pacific is in your little WCC pod. Are, a well, little well, maybe... WCC pod? Why do I um, sense some sort of hostility towards the <laughs> WCC conference rivalry here? <laughs> Never refer to it as little again, because it's Sorry, the oh, only. Actually... Actually, they're not in your pod, actually, right? Aren't they in the, the good the pod? You're, the you're in the bad pod. pod. You're in the I'm worst in the pod. Yes, sir. I am in the worst pod. You know what pod you're Sorry. in? B, you're in the B tier pod. <laughs> it's better than not having a pod. Oh, you know, I don't want rivals uh, like that. You know, oh, I don't want rivals. <laughs> I actually do have a rival with Dominican, though. <laughs> they're just, they're, they're slowly building up. They're not in a pod, are they? Okay, let's move on. No. All right, um, Miami Cincinnati is the match is the demotion battle here. I mean, I don't think it's possible for this. To ch- it's it's just these two, yeah. Yeah, I I'm not good at telling this. This is hard. Yeah, so I mean, I think Miami's pretty much got this one wrapped up because even if they lose and my and Cincinnati wins, they're tied on games. So you'd have to have a huge loss and a huge Cincinnati win, which doesn't mm-hmm. really seem likely. Although Cincinnati is playing the second worst team in the league in Florida Atlantic. Miami, where's Miami? Miami goes to they Wisconsin, go into Wisconsin Superior. Wisconsin Superior, who's seventh. So that's possible. Hmm. That's possible. That could be done. Yeah. You know what I actually, so you know, like Xavier and Cincinnati have like a huge rivalry in real life. Yeah. I wish they had like some, some like rivalry here, like real rivalry. Like, because well, they're in the should, same conference. Like, we should encourage them to that, set it that up. That could have been awesome. But they won't be, they won't they be in the same conference like so next season. So. 
Unfortunately, yeah. No, I, I think because they're in the same conference, conference especially. In Ball State, oh, they're in Indiana, never mind. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. We are going to this conference with Michigan Tech, who has won the <laughs> conference, they've sewn it up, um, but now they're on a two-game losing streak. So I don't know, got to work some things out before the conference tourney because you don't want to be too cold there. And then the national tournament and, you know, got to fix some things. Ron Ritter, you know, he, they've been hurt. Michigan. Jarvis Morgan... And, and Ron Ritter were both hurt though recently. So that, Michigan that's Tech, why. Michigan Tech has a history of choking in the national tournament, especially as a one seed. They absolutely do. Mm -hmm. They especially, absolutely do. As especially a high as seed. a one yep. seed. We saw last year. <laughs> yep, yep. And the year before that, they were two seed in D3 and lost in like this. I, they were playing the Sweet 16. Oh, did they? Yeah, uh, I think they, they won two games, yeah. Still. Um, all right, the promotion battle, I think is still within shouting distance from north alabama um well i mean they're tied so i guess definitely because they if they win and Nichols loses then they're in. um so Nichols hosts uab who's a mid-table team here north alabama is going to go to alaska who's fifth so that's fourth versus fifth which is, um technically alaska's still in it aren't they i mean if both Nichols and North Alabama lose and Alaska wins, which we just said mm -hmm. that Alaska is playing who again? Are they playing? playing North Alabama. Oh, North Alabama. Yeah. So, I mean, so then they just need Nichols to lose and then. And them to win. Yeah. And then they'll, they'll promote because they'll all be even Ooh. on, on win loss record. And then Alabama already has a superior point differential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but Florida international is not safe either because North Alabama could catch them too. Wow, yeah. So two through five here is really all kind of in flux. I mean, two through six, really. New Mexico's. Yeah, New Mexico. I guess they're they're not going to make promotion. They're It'd not going to make promotion. Yeah, but like they could yeah. easily end up fourth or something. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Um. So Florida International plays UNC Charlotte though, and we know UNC Charlotte struggled this year, a bunch. So maybe they're okay i mean you know maybe unc charlotte can pull it off though um yeah i mean so last day of the season, new mexico chaos. plays rockhurst yeah last this is march madness for you right we're in march of the game so march madness exactly. baby all right um moving on oh wait demo demotion is there a demotion race no there is actually not there's not okay it's 4.7 title here is crown can they get the crown <laughs> in sydney <laughs> um i mean yeah that's that's it right i mean they're tied crown goes to akron who's 12th hampton sydney hosts notre dame who who's sixth okay okay Ooh. this is an interesting race i give i give more credence to the fact that hampton sydney is at home even though they have a tougher game just because mm -hmm. now we're so aware of like home away splits, like Hampton Sydney on the season, 15 and four at home, 13 and seven away, which 13 and seven on the road is pretty good. Yeah. A pretty good record, but crown is nine and eight on the road mm -hmm. and they're going to be on the road tomorrow. Yeah. 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 So. And so it's like, you know, obviously crown wants to even win by, by more than 19 points, uh, 19 more than Hampton Sydney potentially wins. Obviously they want to, they want Hampton Sydney to just lose, but yeah. like if they both win, then crown, or if they both lose, you know, it's like they, they could still potentially catch them in point differential. Correct. Um, so like you said, that, that home versus away will matter in that likely. Um, yeah. So it's definitely in Hampton Sydney's favor. I'd say. Yeah. Uh, so Plymouth state goes to a Methodist. This is for promotion, although it's, I guess it's probably not. I mean, Plymouth State's probably not in contention. Maybe it's possible. It's possible, but it's not likely. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I would say they definitely should worry more about the teams behind them, right? Yeah, I mean, they have to worry about Indianapolis for sure because the point differential difference. Mm -hmm. But they also have to worry about Notre Dame. Let's say both Plymouth State and Indianapolis lose, Notre Dame wins. And there's a point differential change up there. Notre Dame still is possible to end up in promotion spot. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Which is crazy. I mean, wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, granted, like we said, they're going to Hampton City tomorrow, who has yeah. everything to play for. Right, so right. it's not all that likely, but then it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. 
So Indianapolis, they played Bowling Green. They go to Bowling Green. He's down here in 13th. Um, Plymouth State goes to Methodist University, like I said. Who, what was the other team? Shenandoah. They host College of St. Scholastica. Scholastica. So I don't know. None of those matchups sounds super easy. I mean, Bowling Green's probably the worst of them. So maybe. Yeah. We'll have to see. Check in tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, Alaska Anchorage and Missouri here. I think Alaska um, Anchorage is doing okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's too much of a point differential for Missouri to make up um, over one game, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, moving on. Um, DePaul. I our don't know favorite, why it's so wrong to read that. Our favorite conference. <laughs> yeah, although Gardner-Webb, though. First off, they're ranked. And oh, wow. They have a better point differential than DePaul, like a lot. So... I mean, obviously, it would take DePaul losing in Garner Webb winning for for DePaul to pass or for Garner Webb to pass them, but yeah, or for that to flip. But you know, how about DePaul's even evil cousin, DePaul? <laughs> DePaul, unfortunately, they're not in any race of any sort. Uh, they do play winless Willamette tomorrow, though, so they could secure an zero and forty season for Willamette. Yikes! Hey, yes. Willamette, Willamette got a new president uh, today, I think, or yesterday. K Andretti, maybe K Andretti. Well, I don't know. Hopefully that president stays active because yeah, Willamette's yeah. going to need the help. Yeah, yeah. Um, but DePaul, DePaul with an L goes to Wabash, who Wabash. is barely better than Willamette. So, I mean, yeah, significantly better than Willamette, but still not saying much. <laughs> yeah, everybody is significantly better than Willamette. <laughs> um, the motion race. I guess, sorry, promotion race, Utah and Tex Texas Pan Am is the battle, basically. Although it's Utah no is such a big, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's All clinched. Right. <laughs> um, Demotion, Henderson State and North Central College here. Uh, let's see, Henderson State hosts Gardner-Webb, though. So that's going to be a tough matchup because Gardner-Webb, I mean, still going to play hard, I imagine. Yeah, so like, and then, but North Central College hosts Northern North Michigan. So this one's Michigan. just going to be like, like, Whichever one loses is going to demote. Mm -hmm. Or if they both lose, then it'll stay how it is because of the point differential. Right. Or if they both win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, all right. Uh, 4.5. LSU <sighs> obviously had it, had it wrapped up a while ago. <laughs> wow. Jummy to geez. <laughs> yeah. Um, Co a great season. Yeah. Co Wichita State. St. Joseph's and Franklin and Marshall all kind of in there. I mean, these are big point differential differences, though. I'd say Co and Wichita State probably as safe as it can be. Okay, so, yeah, I, I mean, I would likely say that they're going to survive. The thing that has me more shocked than anything is Gettysburg at 10th with mm -hmm. a minus 238 point differential. <laughs> I know Ooh. he had mentioned in the Discord that he came up with a big W today, right? Um. Yeah, right. I think it was today. Yeah, I Delaware, Delaware yeah. or 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is a big W because Delaware is seventh. Yeah. And did Fair State lose today? No, Fair State won. Wow. Yeah. And I think Fair State's uh, president commented it too, you know, t saying, you know, tomorrow's the day that Fair State, you know, got to see, got to see if they can pull it off. And they host LSU. Oh. And Gettysburg oh. gets St. Joseph's, you know, again, who's. Still, we're probably going to try to fight, especially because I mean, St. Joe's in the tournament picture, so yeah, yeah, they're a good team. Yeah, um, still feel good about if you're Gettysburg, I guess, but can't feel too good, I guess. Either. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see how that plays out. I, it's hard to imagine LSU loses the second game on the season, mm -hmm. but you never know. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, one, a few more. Ooh, okay. Western Carolina and Cal Poly are battling it out. That's just a seven-point point differential. Cal Poly hosts Northern Arizona, and uh, Western Carolina goes to Pomona. Okay. Neither is very good. Yeah, but this one, because they're tied and they're both playing bad teams, this one comes down to who performs better. I mean, yeah, it's only yeah. seven points between them. So, like, yeah. Western Carolina could get a 10-point W, but if Cal Poly gets an 18-point W, you're screwed. Like, this is like, I don't, 
I, I would be so stressed about this matchup if I was one of those two teams tomorrow. Because yeah, it's yeah. like, I don't know their game tactics, obviously, but then like if you know you need to put on for a point differential and stuff, do you play faster? Do you try and score more points? Does that end up playing to your detriment? Like right, yeah. Like what if that takes you out of like your style and your guys are just like, I don't like playing like that, and then they suck more. And then <laughs> Yeah, or yeah, or what if you just win, like I said, by 10 or something, and then you turn out turn around and see Cal Poly played super fast and won by 20. You'd hate yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just looking at the points for and points against, it looks like Western Carolina plays a lot faster than Cal Poly. Um, they give up a lot more points defensively too. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's it's just simply about point differential, but like pace plays into that, like so, like we've talked about. So yeah, um, especially against bad teams like these. Yeah, um, promotion. I mean, Murray State's. I mean, point differential wise, they're safe, but if they lose and Franklin or VMI win, then it'll flip. Murray State just has to win. That's yeah, it. and even Colorado's not out of there, right? Yeah, technically they're not. I mean, if all three of those teams ahead of them lose and they win, then they could promote. Yeah, so Colorado plays Wisconsin Oshkosh. Um, Murray State, who are they? Franklin, Franklin hosts Washington. Probably okay there. Uh, Jacksonville State, kind of not out of it either, although... They need even more luck than Colorado, so it'd be tough. Yeah, no. Um, VMI is hosting Mount St. Joseph, who is seven and twenty-two. So I'm going to go ahead and say Colorado okay. probably isn't going to get that promotion yeah. spot, but it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who out of out of those four teams, who would you say? I mean, three if you want to eliminate Colorado, but oh, I'm Mur- Murray State goes to Rose Holman. Yeah, I, I'm I'm rolling with um with VMI because they have Mount St. Joseph. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I could easily see Franklin and Murray State losing. So, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm, I'm gonna say Franklin actually. I, that's what I would say. But you know, we're not doing the same thing we did last time. No, we're not. <laughs> even though we might take just as long. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay. Well, we can skip my conference because we already talked about it. Um, yeah. What else? What else? What else? Okay. Two. This is the conference I wanted to talk about more because we got four teams still in it. Yeah. And, I mean, wild. Jacksonville. Jacksonville's probably Jacksonville's out of it. Out of championship. Yeah. They're out of championship, not completely out of promotion, but it'd be tough. They go to Mercer, um, who's sixth. Um, let's see. So Pace hosts Loyal Marymount, who's 10th. So that's, you know, a, a decent matchup, certainly. Um, who's Albany play? Arkansas State. Okay, who's ninth? Gonzaga, who do they play? Who do they play? Texas Southern. Are they eighth? My goodness. What is this just inverse? Like, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> is is Lipscomb gonna play Augustana? No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lipscomb plays UC Colorado Springs. Okay, okay. Hmm. But but losing a lot yet. It's, oh, sorry, they're not any of those teams. Loyal Marymount has the worst point differential out of those teams. Texas Southern actually has a positive, like by quite a bit. Yeah. So Gonzaga has the toughest matchup, actually. Hmm. Yeah. And a decent size advantage in terms of point differential between Lipscomb and Jacksonville. So like Gonzaga, mm-hmm. Gonzaga's like a if we lose, hope hopefully you guys lose too, but we're gonna win. So I don't know. Like this is a this is a toss-up, really. I mean, like we've talked about, any team could lose on any day. If Albany loses tomorrow and Gonzaga lips and lips can both win, then Albany's out. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you know that's, that's uh, gonna be interesting. Yeah. And then with Loyal Marymount, Loyal Marymount and uh Louisiana Lafayette, it's pretty much still kind of if one loses one wins yeah then that's decided then it decided then it is decided uh hard to talk so many words at once if they both win or both lose it stays the same yeah. if one wins and one loses whoever loses is getting demoted thank you yeah yeah, yeah. and shout out to our former conference mate arkansas state for surviving hey yeah nice i'd nice. love to see it yeah the other two well we'll see maybe ll does here but, but one, not likely yeah not so much all right good good i'm telling you this conference is going to be so crazy we're both joining this conference next year it's so crazy i don't like it get all those you, get all those good teams out of there i wish we could get rid of like half of these teams are here because they're all 
well, I mean, Lipscomb, like we said, Lipscomb might might move up and one of these teams moves down. But like I scouted these teams already. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, all right. Moving on to 4.1. Wow. Maris. Holy moly. They're ranked eighth right now. Yeah, dude. This is Maris. an LL4 team. Cough Daddy yeah. had shouted them out, remember? And said that they're having yeah. a really good season. They only had like yeah. one loss and yeah, they, they finished they up Cough with Cough Daddy's already. former team here. <laughs> oh. Shepard, yeah. Shepard's fourth. They're having a nice season, but not even close to promotion. Yeah. There's there's nothing n- interesting in this conference, actually. <laughs> this is kind <laughs> like of just a three-headed lines. monster, yeah. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Simon Fraser, the Canadian team, Portland and Richard Love. Yeah. Everything's locked Very up here. Everything is locked up. Okay. We're not going to go through all the conferences in T2 and T3, are we? Let's go through all the conferences in D2. I hate you. <laughs> Let's just do it. It's D2. Right. D2 has the same amount as D1, but we're not going to do D3. All right. Um, in V1... Yeah, in this conference, like Cal has such a big point differential um, over Manhattan, where it's like, yeah, Manhattan wins and Cal loses. Obviously, it'll flip, but if they both have the same result, I'll, if Cal just simply wins, they will win the title. Um, yeah. And they play 10 and 19 Fairfield, who's 11th. So I don't know, pretty favorable. Manhattan has to play Niagara, who's fifth. It's a tougher matchup for sure. Um, but, you know, Anything can happen type of thing, right? Cal's on the road. They're a good team on the road. Manhattan is at home. They're a good team at home. I mean, if as long as Cal avoids like a, huh? What'd you say? I didn't I didn't know Cal was on the road. <laughs> or I didn't know Cal was a good team on the road. I mean, yeah, Cal's a good team on the road for 15 to uh, four in the season two. I mean, you can't be 33 and six and generally not be a decent team on the road. Sure. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, I mean, if as long as Cal doesn't, as long as Cal avoids like a non-characteristic or uncharacteristic bad loss, then they're going to be conference champions. Yeah. 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 I mean, Wayne state could move up to second. It's highly, highly doubtful. They could, I mean, it's almost impossible. They catch Cal for first. If I'm Wayne state, I'm more worried about Northeastern state being right on my ass with a better point differential though. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 I think that's the, the matchup there and they no they yeah they play each other oh wonderful oh we'd love to see that we'd love to see that so if northeastern state wins tomorrow wayne state gets demoted or not demoted but doesn't promote yeah yeah and i mean like northeastern state would have earned that because they're going to wayne state you know yeah and they have a a, they've been dominating all season they have a great point differential obviously they've lost a couple of games but they must have been really close losses Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that'll be interesting that'll be interesting um demotion not as interesting because it's not as decided close. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right um moving on moving on v2 wyoming still hey, on top Whoa. Wyoming. nice nice um but mississippi state could catch them here <laughs> they're not out of it they're no not, not it. even close which who does wyoming play tomorrow wyoming plays grambling state who is sixth Okay. In, okay. So if Wyoming loses, Mississippi State wins. Those are going to flip. Yeah, but Mississippi State has to play number three, Minnesota State, who is going to be playing their ass off because they're tied with South Dakota State, have the point differential, but it's not like out of reach. It's only forty-eight points for difference here. Yeah, and Mississippi State's on the road, so the that's going to be a road. tough one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. In, in South Dakota State goes to franklin and pierce who i still don't think has signed a recruit <laughs> despite posting that they want a new player <laughs> hello i won't payment new player <laughs> i don't and they're still not even on a recruit my goodness so pay um, him if you don't want them i guess whatever yeah yeah so i mean south dakota state it's as guaranteed a win as one can have and wow there's a team worse than franklin pierce can you believe this <laughs> One in 28, my goodness. <laughs> what is going on in Brooklyn here? Wiseman. Wiseman, who hasn't logged in. Oh, yeah, enough. he's not active. He's in, yeah. Two Oh, okay, seniors. that's understandable. Mm. This team is, is due for two straight, well, yeah. 
this is gonna that's a complete rebuild yeah yeah um <laughs> wow they <laughs> they have two of their scholarship players out <laughs> with injury <laughs> ones are set oh no <laughs> oh man so i'm um, south dakota state looking pretty good <laughs> for this situation here if you're south dakota state you just have to hope mississippi state wins tomorrow yeah yeah basically um i was gonna say even even minnesota state won it's possible because what if they win by like 120 over that's what i was gonna say if you're like south dakota state you better pump up the pace and like you need to win by 60 to yeah, put the pressure yeah. on regardless yeah yeah i mean I, I mean it's still over 200 points so it's like super not likely but i mean <laughs> no for between minnesota state and south dakota state i'm saying oh yeah 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 no yeah, yeah. that's true that's yeah. true yeah um like and then south it, dakota state could beat franklin pierce by like 60 mm -hmm, yeah. and then if minnesota state even has a one point win they could make up that advantage i i think south dakota state could win by more than that even <laughs> yeah exactly yeah um yeah and yeah like we said minnesota state and mississippi state both have like they're both going to be playing hard so you know you figure it will be close i guess i mean maybe not yeah you never know <laughs> um the the motion battle cornell and washington state yeah i uh, really cornell, must see here though yeah it's just so you know whoever wins like if cornell wins they're safe if they lose they're in danger but washington state has to play long beach state cornell has to play sioux falls though so yeah basically if they have the same result the result stays the same if one of them win one loses whoever loses you're going home you're getting demoted. We need a name for that so we can just say it. And yeah, so I was like <laughs> trying to come up with a clever analogy for it right now, or like a clever, I don't know what you call it. Oh, uh, this is not an interesting conference. This is a very interesting conference. <laughs> well, it's all locked up. I mean, pretty much technically Slippery Rock no, like, could, but not really. I mean, that's over 300 points. <laughs> it's locked up. I just want to say it's Basically, pretty crazy when we look at these other conferences, the fact that you have a plus 25 point differential point per game. I have plus 21 and Slippery Rock has 19.6. Mm -hmm. When some of the other conferences have like 10 as their leader and like six and like five, like very close, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it helps when you have yeah. some, some teams down here that have struggled, you know, the rebuilding. We had said coming into the season that it was me, you, and Slippery Rock were the three teams to beat. And then North Georgia was going to be the one that was right on our ass. Yeah, I'm really surprised by Claflin, um, yeah. to be honest. I, I thought, I think I had them kind of like maybe closer to, definitely closer to demotion. I forget like how far down. Um, but Claflin yeah, beat Slippery yeah. Rock today. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. I was surprised by that. Yeah. Claflin's <laughs> just got a badass center. He's been carrying them. Serious, yeah, yeah. That was that. That's that one's Eckert. I can't remember yeah. all. Like, there's so many. There's so many like good. I, I posted this in the forums. Like, there's so many good tall centers in this conference. Like, which I feel is abnormal for D two. Yeah, for sure. But it's Brady. Brady Eckert, I believe, is his name. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Moving on to V four, Kansas and Clayton State. I mean, Kansas is basically clinched. I'd say, right? Yeah. No way. Yeah. 116 yeah. points no way yeah yeah um promotion is locked up congrats to kansas clayton state and minnesota crookston all discord people yep um yeah we'd love to see it yeah everything's locked Although up in this conference there, there are future conference mates and i they're all kind of scary <laughs> <laughs> so especially crookston not Does happy it, about hasn't, that hasn't crookston landed like some five stars in the past couple seasons if i, I remember believe correctly. they signed Two, I think they signed two five stars this season. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> Oof. Oh, yeah. Wes Sanders. That's the team that got Wes Sanders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't um, lose anybody this season? They do not lose anybody this season. Nope. Yeah. All right. Well, we're coming for you, Crookston. We're coming for you. <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be tough. You better be tough. come hard when you're in this conference because there ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. All right. Um, demotion is all locked up too, actually. So yeah, we'll, we'll move on. Here. Boring conference. All right. Uh, congrats to SF State. They got 
they got demoted uh, from CNR's D1 conference last season, and they just bounced right back. So that's that's nice to see. We like to see it because even though you demote, you don't lose any prestige. You go ahead and win the conference the next season. You're going to get that prestige bump. Mm-hmm. Not everything's not all so bad. Yeah, uh, Tulsa basically has it clinched. I mean, 203 point difference uh, over Wisconsin River Falls. Yeah, it's clinched. <laughs> uh, these are these are bats, so I don't I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't care at all. Uh, Odell well, Haynes, another Odell Haynes sign. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. That was a really uh, good joke. The much less talented younger brother. How Spring Hill's going to do things. Okay. All right. I'm Why has Tennessee that. Tech signed two zero star prospects? Um, go to the recruiting question. real quick. We just have to look at this. We have to. That's a good question. I think this is an active owner, too. Yeah. He's like, oh, there's a master of the game. Oh, master. <laughs> oh, hold on. That's. I was going to say, I was gonna, when I saw the two zero stars earlier this week, I was going to be like, I don't know if they've mastered the game yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, they're bad. They're not even big. Johnny um, Cash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, he's hold not, on. Why good. is he sending an? Why is he recruiting a twenty-five a five, si five, five pot? I, hold on. He's not even in region. Oh my goodness! This is, this is like the worst idea of all time. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, listen. Would you have that have this recruiting class or Franklin and Pierce slash Pittsburgh Johnstown? <laughs> probably the no recruits because then then I don't have trash that I actually actively recruited. Wait, but <laughs> uh, I don't why is this guy, why is this guy not committed by the way? That's a good question. He, he he's played. I'm surprised he played 16 minutes in a game. <laughs> that must've been an 80 point blowout for him to get time. <laughs> he's ranked hundredth in Pennsylvania. Wow. How is that even possible? Honestly, I, I don't know. Dude, he has a vertical. Look at that vertical, though. Okay, so he can do one thing. He jumps. <laughs> That's fuck, freaking hilarious. Oh, man. That's what? <laughs> freaking hilarious. <laughs> you could have said it. It's fine. We're, we're all adults here. This, this podcast is not meant for kids. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, oof, yikes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to need you master the game to write in. Maybe he's actively tanking on purpose. Yeah, but you're still offering scholarships. That's true. That's true. You would just not recruit. Mac McClung's cousin here, Melvin, you know? Melvin uh, McClung? <laughs> I, I mean, it's like, I th- it's is it an act of tank? Like, are they trying to, you, you know, someone mentioned with, with Pittsburgh Johnstown when we first brought them up, like maybe they're trying to see how well they can do with whatever they're doing (laughs) maybe that's the case here i don't know well like if you're trying to build the best possible team with walk-ons like we have all the evidence we need it it can't happen yeah yeah i mean but it's not like i said it's not even walk-ons like they're actively going i'm saying for like i'm saying for like pittsburgh johnstown right 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 yeah yeah yeah, that's true. And now, now this is even worse. So. Yeah, like, like you could get walk-ons better than these guys. So. Oh, yeah. oh I get walk-ons better than those guys every year. <laughs> oh, just you wait till you get the the batch where it's really trash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. I guess so. Okay. Uh, oh, this is your conference. This is your conference. Congrats to Washington. Congrats to Northern North Carolina A and T. Oh, we, they listened. By the way, I don't know if you saw. Uh, in the forums they commented on the the thread that they listened so shout out to cx hawk right is that the president yeah 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 he's um nice nice yeah i knew i knew he was a listener so i gotta give him his props for for beating me to take number two in the conference yeah 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 but yeah, it's i mean not with the out of reach not out of reach for you yeah everything is decided here okay we have the three promoting teams Stephen f austin is now four games off but with a minus 84 point differential in fourth somehow and Sanford really never had a chance, but it was cute. <laughs> Auburn. Oh, look at Auburn. Oh, yeah, rising. Auburn in fifth. Well, I mean, I say that because, uh, you know, when they were in D1 with me last season, like, I just used them as, like, punching bags for my red shirts, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, they were new. They were rebuilding. So it's nice to see that they're uh, not going to fall too far, I guess. I mean, they're not going to promote, but, you know, they might be on the up and up. Yeah, maybe. They're opposite of Santa um, Cruz, who's not on the up and up. 
no they're on the down and more down yeah um chattanooga is how's this how's this promotion i mean i know that's a bot but like this is a human run team i don't, I don't know how active they are not very active oh florida <laughs> state gotcha. florida state i mean i guess people have typos but then like okay you clearly want to go to florida state but you're at chattanooga uh did, did you know that uh, we live in cala california <laughs> And he lives, in, he's, he lives in Florida, I don't know, Florida State. Florida. Uh, <laughs> we live in Cal- California. But they didn't even take a Florida team. Like, that's the I thing know. to me. Like, they they took a Tennessee team. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, moving on, moving on. Uh, V7, congrats to St. Louis. They've had a good year. They're threatening, you know, to be a one seed, I think, in the tournament. Yep, yep. Um. Let's see, promotion all locked up. I mean, I guess this can flip, but eh, it didn't really mean This that. is what's beautiful about, uh, about promotions D2. All... Like everything is pretty much locked up. We don't have to go into up. it. We don't have to go into yeah, it, yeah. exactly. <laughs> look, how, look how much quicker we're going. It's beautiful. <laughs> Yet we still decide to talk for forever. <laughs> I, I know, because we're ridiculous. Oh, I know we are. All right, um, San Diego had it locked up a long time ago. Um, Challenging for the number one overall to... tournament seed well i mean they are they're they're the, they are right now they're favorites yeah 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 um but yeah congrats to frogman in san diego congrats to coco momantis and harden simmons congrats to bennett and carnegie mellon for all promoting um in the forums harden simmons and carnegie mellon they like to talk with each other in, for this their their league thread i found out they're going to promote to d1 for the first time and they're in their uh, hardwood careers you know nice congrats so, gentlemen thanks. congrats yeah and they've been playing for for like over a year like they just passed their one year so you well know that's done. longer than than us yeah yeah well done um sonoma state and uc davis here and just seven points point differential and davis is a game back so i don't know davis could catch him david davis could catch the grape grapes or something i think is what sonoma state is the sea wolves Oh, well, I don't know. The I don't, grapes? My friend went there. My friend went there and they were he was part of a team, not basketball. They called themselves like the Grapes of Wrath or something. So I don't know. Um, I think it was Ultimate Frisbee though. So <laughs> oh well. Okay. N- next topic. <laughs> All right. Um Davis University of the Ozarks. San Diego. What? University of the Ozarks. What? Could pull off oh my an God. 40 season. Oh my God. <laughs> this might be the worst team of all time that I've seen. They're minus 1,537 points overall, minus 1,252 points in conference. They are minus 43 point differential. That is I'm just, nasty. I'm just speechless. I'm yeah. Speechless. We have to look at this team. <laughs> when they're this bad, we have to look at them. Wait, this is Palm, Palm Valley. This is their second team. But they're not active. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Palm oh, Valley yeah, he's, is he, he they're, drove they're this Claflin. team into the ground. He drove this team into the ground and then he's taken off. This is Claflin's president. Yeah. Like the other account, but they're more active. Mm, I don't know. I guess they were like, oh, this team sucks. I'm not going to be active on it. Like I said, he actively drove this team to the ground and then decided to peace out. I don't know. Yep. yep. They shouldn't I mean, they have be. They a lot of scholarship players. They shouldn't yeah, they be, shouldn't be that winless. Bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because this guy's tall. You have a 156 um, SI guy. Like, much. yeah. Huh. Does he not play? Like, that would be the next curious. Like, yeah. If he just wasn't playing. Um, oh, well. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know, to each their own, I guess. Um, where did, Who does Sonoma State play tomorrow? Weber State? Okay. But Weber State's good. Ooh. Yeah. So, I don't know. That's possible possible UC for Davis sure plays san diego okay yeah possible possible okay possible. moving on though <laughs> possible. wow what the hell seven game difference wow they literally a, had it wrapped slaughter. up a week ago yeah oh they're 20 and one that's why okay yeah, yeah. this makes sense they're that good team oh, um conferences with so many bots i know yeah virginia state we hope you, well you're pretty safe well i guess you have to win still yeah, Virginia State. Wisconsin don't... Green Bay. Sorry, Wisconsin Green Bay though plays Pfeiffer tomorrow. Okay, beautiful, so. beautiful. Keep them in this conference. Yeah. We do not want them promoting Vir- as a bot. If Virginia State plays Belmont Abbey, so uh, 
Pretty yeah. safe. Pretty safe. You're screwed, Pfeffer. Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer, yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Boston University in Charleston. Charleston plays Mount Olive, though. Charleston Southern, sorry. Plays Mount Olive, who's 1 in 28. Uh, and then Boston has Boston Vassar, Vassar, who's right okay, above so, them. Right above them. Yeah. So I don't know. Still pretty, pretty good if you're Boston, but I don't know. Not completely safe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Um, uh, ooh, I don't know. Beloit could catch him. Beloit could catch the University of the Sciences here. I want that school so bad. I know. Doesn't that sound cool? Aren't they like the devils or something too? Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty cool. Yeah. Where do you go to school? I go to the university of sciences. They joined like a week before you did. Oh, wow. If if we just joined a week earlier, I probably still wouldn't have taken them, but yeah, that's pretty cool. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Promotion is all locked up. Demotion is all bots. Wow. Look at all these bot teams. We hate one specific bot team there. (laughs) <laughs> Lise McRae. Five, we hate Lise McRae. Five of them are demoting. Yeah, yeah. that's right, Sunny Mac. Get out of here. Go down to yeah. D three. <laughs> exactly. Enjoy your time outside of the spotlight. Yeah, she she could have been D one. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Northeastern Huskies oh, received the commitment of three star prospect Dick Shook. Oh yeah, Dick Dick Shook. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't see that. That's incredible. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's incredible. What a name. He's actually a good player. <laughs> like a really yeah. good player. Yeah, he actually is. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dick Shook. Nice recruit, Northeastern. I think Northeastern is kind of new. Um, yeah, like I think they just joined the Discord or something. Like I've seen them. So nice. Hey, congrats, congrats on Dick Shook. Dick Shook. <laughs> All right. Um, moving on, moving on. Only a couple left, I think, right? Uh, six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Augsburg, I mean, basically has it wrapped up. That's a big advantage in point differential. Yeah. Northwestern and Hamline. 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 You have to pronounce it Hamline. You can't. Come on now. It's not French. Yeah, but, you know, but like all these, like, you know, English is a tough language, you guys. It's a dumb language, actually. <laughs> American English, especially. American. <laughs> all right. Um, I mean, Northwestern play is uh presbyterian okay yeah pretty good matchup yeah i pretty good matchup northwestern will probably win tomorrow and then it won't matter what hamline does and hamline has to play in ohio dominican so there you go yeah yeah pretty pretty much in the back for northwestern but feeling good if you're northwestern Northwest. feeling good feeling feeling good. good for good word good word for it um demotion is interesting but it involves two bots linfield Linfield just went tomorrow um, and you stay up, please. We don't want to talk about bots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Linfield has to play Calvin, though, up here. Bridgeport has to play Milliken. Okay, that's a better matchup, though. But Carthage that's has good. to play Augsburg. Oh, okay. So Linfield's safe. You would think. You'd think so. I'm thinking. Like, that's how, that's how we, would, we would think as, you know, people with brains. Yes. <laughs> Dude, what, look at this game. 120 to 114. Wow. That's, a, That's quite the box score. It was a regulation. It was a regulation game. Damn. Calvin had no one in fatigue. Look how deep their bench went. They only 20. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Was 25 for That's insane. any player. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. TPI, where we highlight strange things. <laughs> Those are the things we love the most. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Colby, congrats to Colby. They they had it sewn up. They, they um, kicked ass. Yeah. <laughs> the mules, they kicked ass. Yeah, the Colby mules, they kicked ass. <laughs> this is the one the, with the European coach. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, don't ever end us at the heart of a mule. <laughs> <laughs> the, the service academies navy and army looking i'd say pretty safe i don't know army has to win army still has to win oh, and they play colby though oh my goodness Ooh, army but who's wesleyan play wesleyan has to play navy though so okay so wow that's uh 
the top four play each other tomorrow. In- Interesting. If it was closer, that'd be really, if like, if Colby was closer, I mean, that'd be really crazy. Yeah. That'd be really fun, but yeah, not the case here, but still three out of the top four play, you know? Yeah. That's, that's good. Um, look at this demotion race. Although Southern Nazarene has negative 223. Let's just hope that all the teams except for Southern Nazarene win. So we don't have any non-bot team. Yeah. Let's just, let's just hope it stays like this. Right. Yeah, let's just hope that this is the final table. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah, no, NC State's safe, but I mean, Florida State, Florida cannot make it. Florida has to play who? 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 I'm not. Why can't I see Florida? At Allegheny. Allegheny. Okay. Worcester has to play Hiram. Southern Nazarene plays Pittsburgh, though, Rob. Oh, man. Oh, Pittsburgh, come on. Oh, man. If there's ever Dude. time to bring Pitt Snoggle out of retirement, it is tomorrow. Wait, Pitts, Pitts not going to went to oh he went to West, West Virginia. Virginia. No, Shit. we're talking about Dewan Blair. Um, shoot, who else went to yes, Pitt? Kevin J- Pitts not going went to. That's right. Who who's other Pitt Panther alums? Uh, I, why do I only remember Dewan Blair? I, like Taft, someone Taft, Chris Taft. I'm bringing out some some deep cuts here. Yeah, you are. <laughs> which is which is my favorite thing. Apparently, Stephen Adams went there. Did he really? Huh. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Uh, Southwestern Oklahoma State plays Kalamazoo, though. So, like, the, but the bottom three teams are, are matching up with these teams here. Although Worcester has to play, or Florida has to play Allegheny. All right, should we move on? Yeah, we should move on. Okay. Um, Illinois Chicago wraps it up. Promotions wrapped up. Demotions wrapped up. Cool. All right. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> Although, congrats to Illinois, Chicago, Lynchburg, and Wartburg. I guess yes, congrats to the two Bergs in Illinois, Chicago. <laughs> um, St. Edwards, who, you know, I, I said they're a national title contender. They are playing like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to say the least. Wow. Uh, Ferrum, who has been talking to them, you know, they, they're confident. I'll say that. They're confident in the Discord. They, they hope to make a run in the tournaments and uh you know they have a good team no doubt no doubt confidence is good you got to believe in yourself yeah yeah um central washington not not uh guaranteed although Oof. they play eureka so. <laughs> okay and centenary plays western oregon the team okay below them, so. so if you're central washington just get an easy win against a bad team tomorrow yeah yeah and it's like central washington's at home centenary's on the road you know, as like we said, is, is as good of a situation as you can ask for. Yes, precisely. Um, Shriner, King, Colorado College. I mean, even Bellarmine, Edgewood, they're all. Edgewood, on. they're all. Yeah. I mean, there's too many bots in there for me to really care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, good luck, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's look. Edgewood, Edgewood plays King, though. Um, Colorado College. College plays Farum. Who's Shriner? Shriner at Roanoke. Roanoke. Okay, who's eighth? Um, Bellerman. Who does Bellerman play? M- Messiah. Ooh. <laughs> so Bellerman. Bellerman looking pretty nice. <laughs> Bellerman's okay. King has to win and hope Shriner loses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good. What else we got? Fifteen. We're almost done. We're almost. Done. Oh yeah, this is your one of your teams. You picked. Bot team of the week. Bot team of the ago. week. The Fairlay Dickinson Florum Red Devils. They have clinched. They have I clinched. tried to tell you guys this was an up and coming team. Nobody listened, yeah. and now the bot was like, "I'm a bot. I'm gonna take them over." And now here they are, and then they're gonna fall because they probably suck at recruiting still. <laughs> but I, did, I was talking about one season ahead, and this is one season ahead. True. True. So. True. True. Yeah, you were. You were. You said they were gonna be competitive. Yeah, for the next season, and you I were did. correct. I did indeed. Um, promotion pretty much locked up for Arkansas. Um, so congrats to Louisiana Tech and Arkansas. I believe Cogs for Arkansas is the president. And we haven't shouted out all the presidents. Cogs, yeah. Um, Dylan Young, who hasn't logged in though. So no congrats for you, Dylan Young. Yeah, no. Because you don't know about it. Dylan old now. Look at this, look at this difference in the promotion. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's decided. That's crazy. Yeah, that's really crazy. So the, all these teams were awful, and five of them are human run. 
Yeah. Well, Nebraska just got oh. a new owner because it's um it's the Washington. Yeah, yeah. He the moved Washington from Nebraska president. Wesleyan to Nebraska. Yeah, he moved. Yeah, exactly. Um, shout out to Spalding's president. I know he listens, and you know they've had a tough year, but they're they're rebuilding. I know it's gonna, you know, going down to D three, not as much pressure. You can take some chances. It'll it be a good to experience. The best of us, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's never happened to us. So. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> it'll, yeah, not yet. It'll, it'll probably will, but uh, I'll hope not. Uh, Minnesota's wrapped this up a while ago. Um, I don't know. Old Dominion, congrats. No, bad. Boo, boo. I mean, not, <laughs> not actually. I just, because they're on Ben Fong still. I mean, they probably haven't invested, but, he, you know, he's still a, a dick to me. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, congrats to Colby. Oh, not yet. Uh, not not yet. yet. Although Colby Sayer plays me tomorrow. So, or my old team, I should say. Ah, okay. Okay. So, easy win for Colby Sawyer then. <laughs> should be. Yes. Should be. Uh, who does Delaware Valley play? Um, it's hard to read, guys. Elms, yeah, where is it? Like oh, Elms. Elms, yeah. Elms is going home, getting mm-hmm. demoted. Yep, yep. Uh, although Union, if if Elms wins and Union loses, and Newman loses, then Elms would promote or not promote, but stay in the Union conference. goes to Valdosta State tomorrow, so that's gonna be a tricky one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who's Newman play? Newman hosts Minnesota. Oof. Okay. Yeah. F off Newman. So so Elms has a chance. Minnesota's really damn good. So Newman Newman's not gonna mm-hmm. win. Yeah. So Elms has to hope that yeah. Union Union loses. Right. Which they have a better matchup, right? I don't like Elms for personal reasons. So if they lose, that's fine oh. with me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm no just Elms. Kidding. Elms does not have a better matchup. Sorry, actually, they play Delaware Valley. So, yeah. Uh, you got to feel good if you're Newman, relatively. And eh, it's still not great, though. Yeah. All right. Um, and that's D2. Oh, we made it. Oh. All right. Let's go to the tournament then. I mean, still got to look at D3 a little bit. Yeah, we'll just peek it and then move on because it's a lot of the same. I've been looking at it. It's a lot of the same of what we talked about previously when we looked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some um, of the same teams on the top lines and whatnot. Oregon's so moved up a lot. but That one conference, 27. So they have four teams in right now, which is yeah. a lot. That's a lot for D3. And then the one team out of the picture, but still eh, got a chance. Yeah, it's a lot for D3, like you said. I don't think you'd find any other conference on this page that has three teams in. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. Two teams, that's pretty good. And then two on the bubble here. Yeah. I highlighted this this conference because um, like three of their presidents, right? Right, good PRs, all kind of about each other. It seems like so. Um, you know, nice. it's, it's fun to follow. Yeah. Yeah, we love good PRs. Yeah, yeah, they're fun, fun to follow. I'm I'm gonna go check on them real, uh, later on and see. Um, Northern Colorado doing all right over here. Um, I'm just you know trying to see what other conferences are are competitive and stuff. You know, I know twelve only has two teams in. You see Irvine mm-hmm. and Finlandia, mm-hmm. but Montana, but Montana State? State's here. Yeah, they're on yeah. the bubble. Yeah, yeah. Um, Thirty-two. I think isn't. 30... A, I think Academy of Art is winning their conference. Maybe Are I'm wrong. Really? Wait, no. Just search VI five. I could be wrong. Okay, no. I, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. I think it's Cal State Bakersfield is still in the lead. I mean, they were in the lead. Last time we've done this. Yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Ignore wow, me. look at the point differential. So it's like a reverse here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Unfortunately, Academy of Art, well, they're bot, but also they can't catch Cal State. Who cares? They're bot. Yeah. Um, well, I guess Nebraska Wesleyan no longer has Kay Henry as the president, though. Yeah. So can't shout them out. So watch him go on, watch Nebraska Wesleyan go on a run in the tournament now. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm Kay Henry. I still take credit for that. So. Yeah. <laughs> so you take credit for Michigan Tech's loss as a one seed to a 16 seed? Uh, you know, I that was game planning, which is more like minute of a thing. <laughs> so, you know, I don't, you know. You're right. Okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Just wanted to make sure that we are on the same page there when it comes to that. But, but like, if, but like going on a run is more of like a big, big picture thing. And I developed that big picture. So that's why I feel like, you know, that way. Gotcha. Okay, I think we're clear. 
Um, what other teams do we should we? Well, Hawaii. Um, Hawaii is the team that we had talked about early on, thirty-seven and two. Where, where really is Elmer Kane good. now? Where is Elmer Kane in the top players? Is he what, second now? Oh my god! I'm sure he didn't. Oh, is he really? Yeah. One ninety-five. Hmm. Hopefully, he carries them to a title, man. I mean, you know, basketball is a game of. You you can do really well. Oh, look at Will Clevenger. He's yeah, you just rock, you literally just wanted to scroll down to see that. You're so predictable. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. You're he so was thirty. He was thirtieth. He's actually slowed down now. What are you I'm doing, Clevenger? Yeah, exactly. I knew it. Yeah, well, you, let's let's get some. Let's hit the gym in a few. Let's hit the gym in the summer, Will. All right. Um, ridiculous. <laughs> so funny. Um. I don't know. Do you see any other people? Uh, Michigan State still sitting on the bubble. We had talked about them at one point, but it's yeah, like all the same. Yeah, it's like all the same suspects that we talk about, right? Massachusetts Maritime, like you're gonna say, we had highlighted yeah. Hood. Where's Hudson? Hood. Uh, uh, oh, they okay. fell. Ooh. Uh oh. 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 <laughs> Dude, didn't Lubbock Christian just sign like a really good player? I don't think it was a five star, but a lot of people in Texas were after this guy, Frederick Wheeler. And Lubbock Christian got him. <laughs> wow. Wait, where yeah. are they after? Uh, I mean, he's a 12 pot, I guess. 12 pot, yeah. Great defender. Yeah. He's okay, I guess. His growth is kind of right, cool. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> um, let's see. Is Lamar on here? Because I know, I know Woodard is uh, like, I think they're like high up in their conference, but not in the tournament picture no lamar here sir but that happens that happens that happens right um it happens in d3 oh, like okay. we mentioned because there's too many freaking conferences to go around for the size of the field right yeah yeah, yeah. pretty much yeah. pretty much okay well uh i think that about covers it yeah i think so so good luck to all those teams that we talked about that are still left in a race tomorrow um, shall the odds ever be in your favor unless you're a bot but if you're a bot you're not listening to this so that was a dumb statement um, and good luck to the teams that are trying to avoid demotion yeah seriously good luck to I don't know good luck to my teams I'm, I'm so nervous yes. I'm so nervous good luck to Rochelle because they're they're going to need a good performance tomorrow thanks thanks uh, you know yeah good luck to you know teams for yeah avoiding demotion getting promotion league titles you know um in health you know you want to be healthy going in the conference tournaments and the national tournament um yeah. and good yeah. luck good luck to those cinderella teams that need a conference tourney run in order to uh to get their national tourney bid it happens, yeah, it happens yeah. to me last season it can happen to you yeah make, yeah make that happened to me a couple it. years ago um go for broke you know just that that's so fun. I don't know if you you remember, you know, like that feeling of just like unexpectedly winning your conference tournament. Yeah, it's a it's a really good feeling. And like I said, that's that could be your tournament berth when you weren't gonna go to the tourney. So, yep, yep, yeah. All right. Um. Oh yeah. So I wanted to plug the challenge groups. I I made them. Um. I think you can sign up now. Obviously, we haven't populated the brackets because. Obviously, we have no idea. I mean, I guess I can start to put in some teams because don't we have a good idea? Um, don't it makes it harder? <laughs> okay, so yeah. it makes it harder, so we won't. Uh, <laughs> good, thanks. Um, but yeah, join those or, or you know check them out. We'll I'll put the links in the descriptions for you to find them easily. Um, is there anything else we need to plug? Um, um I think that's it. Look I forward mean, to yeah. our like tournament preview show on friday hopefully on we're doing friday, one yeah. right we're doing one yeah 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 yeah. it might be you know kind of late ish but yeah. at least we'll get the video up quicker this time so maybe yeah. people can like have time to watch it to make picks instead of and we'll do out. we'll do picks and predictions again so we could see how completely <laughs> wrong we are or how right we are in the case of moi hey i won one of them didn't i <laughs> i won the d3 one you won d3 that was over after like three rounds but yes you won d3 <laughs> wins a win baby <laughs> all right so we'll see you guys with our next episode on friday when it's tournament time the best time of year or the best time of every month in 10 days for us or the best time for heartbreak you know yeah exactly yeah complete disappointment or throwing your computer <laughs> <laughs> 
We only speak from experience, guys. I almost turned my computer over hardwood. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> All, All right. right. Yeah. This is the total podcast idiot signing off until Friday. Peace. Peace.